All right, welcome back to Chaos Collectibles, everybody. So, a couple things. Um, my brother and I ended up going on a road trip yesterday down to Kokomo, Indiana to Kokomo Toys to check it out. Pretty awesome trip. It was about 200 miles one way in the car. Um, went down there to check some things out, and they have a huge selection of pretty much any different type of figure that you could think of. So it was a real good experience to get down there, check some things out. Um, I don't think I've ever seen so many boxed Star Wars originals, as well as um, original G.I. Joes and things like that. So it was really cool to get down there, check some stuff out. Unfortunately, I did not pick anything up because I was looking for some old Remco figures and I was hoping that they would have some um, Zolo World figures since I know they are a uh, Zolo vendor, but unfortunately they did not. Um, I did see a Clamp Champ down there, vintage Clamp Champ, but um, I didn't get it because I had other things that I wanted to pick up instead. So pretty cool to get out there and go on a road trip and check out probably the largest toy store within hundreds of miles of me. So that was really awesome. Anyhow, um, I did get a new figure in the mail just yesterday while I was on that road trip. So I was able to come home, although I didn't get anything there. When I got home yesterday evening, I was able to uh, check my mailbox and I ended up picking up an original um, Remco Pirates of the Galaxies peg leg figure. So this dude's in pretty good shape. I mean, he's got some, some paint missing from his eyebrow there. Um... Other than that, I mean, just a little spot on his foot in the front and in the back. But other than that, I mean, he is in excellent shape. Now, I do not have his um, original little um, dagger knife weapon. Um, I did see some on eBay, but people want 40, 50 bucks for him. Um, I really like him with this sword. It's a Zolo sword, you know. I have a couple extras of these. So it's like, what the hell, I'll just give him this. Um, he does include the original, the original shirt. Now, the original shirts are not like the Zolos. There is no Velcro in the back. They're just opened. Um, but it is cool that he had this original shirt, which is one of the key points why I wanted to pick him up. In fact, I'd rather have this shirt as opposed to the, the original weapon anyway. So, um, it is a little dirty, but not bad. Um, it actually looked worse in the picture than, than what it actually is in person. So that is pretty cool. Glad I picked this dude up. Pretty freaking awesome. So that is that. This is the peg leg figure. Um, I have owned it before um, years ago. And I think I sold it in 2008 or so when I ended up selling off um, all my original um, Remco collection that I picked up on eBay probably between the years of 2002 and 2004. 2008, I ended up selling all that stuff off. Um, so this is the, actually the second time that I have owned this figure. Um, never had it as a kid, but it is a very cool figure. One of my favorite pirates. The only one that I think I like better than this one of the originals, besides the skeletons, of course, would be the patch figure. That one looks freaking awesome. So here it is. I'm going to put this guy up there with my Marauders. He's going to fit in perfect with those. So I think that is pretty freaking cool. Um, I did pick up a couple more things on eBay as of yesterday, and I just have to wait for people to ship that stuff out. I am hoping to get that before the end of the week, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I just wanted to get on here, show you guys the peg leg, the only figure that has that leg. And as far as that goes, I don't think Zolo is going to release a figure with a peg in their pirate series because um, tooling, right? When you have this mold, you're only going to be making it for the one figure, unless they were to do like multiples of like peg leg type figures. I don't think Zolo's ever going to do that. But anyhow, pretty cool figure. I like how he's got different feet. In fact, the pirates do have a different crotch than the other figures, more like a jean type. He's got feet instead of boots, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, really happy to have this figure. I'm really glad I picked this guy up. And uh, that's pretty much it for the day. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in. I hope you all have an awesome day. Until next time.